वंदे गुजरात Hello dear students how are you all fine i hope you are enjoying learning english through virtual classroom project today we are going to start our class with an interesting activity in this activity you will see a picture in that picture you will see so many objects what you have to do you have to count those objects and answer my questions with the help of those number of objects so are you ready for this activity let's start before moving to this activity let's get familiar with the objects which are there in the picture so that you can get the idea how to speak about those objects these are the objects which you will see in the picture here in this picture you have to count them and answer the questions by using the number of these objects let's begin with first question how many cars are there in picture look at the circle just count them and answer okay how many cars are there very good there are five cars in picture in this example we saw that there were five cars in the picture and the question was how many cars are there in the picture so while giving an answer of such questions we begin with there is or there are here we began with there are now how many cars five cars so we said there are five cars in the picture absolutely fine now here is your second question 
how many flowers are there in picture c there are five circles around the flowers yes there are five flowers in picture here is your next question how many bananas are there in picture see in this picture there are so many bananas just find them out and give your answer correct so what can be the answer yes there are eight bananas in picture dear students till third picture we took the help of circle now you have to count the objects without help of circle and give your answer so mind well ahya chitra ma je te object ne farte circle nahi jova made have tamare ene jate count karvana chhe ane प्रश्नों ना जवाब अपना सो आर यू रेडी फॉर इट गुड लेट सी अवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ मेनी एप्पल्स आर देर इन पिक्चर सी द पिक्चर केरफुली नाउ टेल मी हाउ मेनी एप्पल्स आर देर इन द पिक्चर एब्सल्यूटली करेक्ट देर आर फॉर apples in the picture here is your next question how many frogs are there in picture try to find them out yes count them very good there are nine frogs in picture so students you nicely responded to all the questions have ahi apne etlu yaad rakhvanu chhe ke tame jo nodyu hoy to badha j je prashno hata e apne how many no upyog karine puchya hata ane ena jawab apne jare apya hata tyare eni shuruaat there is ke there are thi kari hati प्रेक्टिकली जो जो ये तो मेरी तरफ जुओ हाउ मेनी पेन्स आर धेर फरी कहू छो हाउ मेनी पेन्स आर धेर सो इट्स वन टू एंड थ्री सो धेर आर थ्री पेन्स नाउ हाउ मेनी पेन्सिल Yes, there is only one pencil. So here we replied, how many pens are there? We said there are three pens. And how many pencils are there? There is only one pencil. So mind well, when somebody asks us a question with how many we have to respond by using there is or there are but take care if there is one object we always say there is and if the objects are more than one we always say there are okay now it's time to move to our next activity this activity is related with our textbook in this activity we will learn about time span and meaning evo thai che ke second thi laine year sudhi kevi rite time move kare che kevi rite time count thai che ena vishe apne janvana chhe 60 seconds make 1 minute 
60 minutes make 1 hour. 24 hours make 1 day. 7 days make 1 week. Here in a month sometimes we see 28 days, sometimes 29 days, sometimes 30 days and sometimes 31 days. So 28 or 29 or 30 or 31 days make one month. Then 52 weeks make a year and 12 months make a year. जो बिजी रिते जो ये तो 60 seconds are equal to 1 minute. 60 minutes are equal to 1 hour. 24 hours are equal to 1 day. 7 days are equal to 1 week. Sometimes 28 or 29 days or 30 days or 31 days are equal to 1 month. 52 weeks are equal to 1 year and 12 months are equal to 1 year. After understanding the time span from a second to year, Let's start our textbook activity. Activity number 8 on page number 35. In this activity, you can see that there are some words in this box. The words are year, months, day, days, week, years, weeks, hours, hour and minutes. What you have to do here? You have to fill this blank and complete this question. One example is already available here. See the second one. How many days are there in a week? Now let's solve the first one. How many months? Now think days make a week. In the same way, months make a year. So, how many months are there in a year? So, months, then year days and week. See the third one. How many hours are there in a day? How many hours are there in a day? Let's see the fourth one. How many minutes are there in an 
Awa. And the fifth one, how many weeks are there in a month? That is, how many weeks are there in a year students i hope that you have written all the questions now let's learn how to answer this type of questions in this activity of framing questions with how many, you learnt how to frame a question. In our next task, we are going to learn about how to answer such questions. Here, you have to use the numbers given in the box and answer the questions that we just framed here. So let's do this activity. Use the numbers given in the box and answer the questions given below. Here in this box you can see that there are some numbers 7, 12, 24, 52 and 60 and the question is how many days are there in a week correct there are seven days in a week let's see the next one how many minutes are there in an hour how many minutes are there? Absolutely correct. There are 60 minutes in an hour. Here is your next question. How many hours are there in a day? Yes, there are 24 hours in a day. Let's see the next question. How many months are there in a year? Very good. There are 12 months in a year. And here is your last question how many weeks are there in a year there are 52 weeks in a year very fine dear students we have already learnt about countable things and uncountable things here our next activity is related with the same thing. But before moving to that activity, let's understand what is countable and what is uncountable. These are pens. We can count them. But see, there is some water in the glass. Can we count the water? No. We cannot count water. That means it's uncountable and we can count the pen. That means pen is a countable thing. Here you will see some objects. What you have to do? You have to identify that object and 
put them in the box of countable things or uncountable things. You have to draw this type of table. Here is an example for you. As we talked earlier, pen is a countable thing and water is uncountable things. Earlier we talked about how many, but when we want to ask a question about the objects which can not be counted, that means they are uncountable, we always ask question with the help of how much. So when we want to ask about countable things, we ask with how many. And we want to ask about uncountable things, we always ask a question with how much. Dear students, I hope that you have understood the use of how many and how much. Our next activity is related with the same theme. Let's see activity number 8 part B. In this activity, you will see a picture. With the help of that picture, you have to answer the question. So, let's move to that activity. Here is a picture for your help. And the first question is, how many cups of ice creams are there in the picture? So, let's count them. One, two, and three. Mind well, while giving answer of such question, we always begin with there are. So, how many cups of ice cream are there? One, two, and three. So, the answer will be there are three cups of ice creams in the picture. Let's see the next question. How much ice cream is there in the second cup? So, let's see the second cup, first and second. Let's see here. How much ice cream is there? Yes. It's 200 milliliter. So, there is 200 milliliter ice creams in the second cup. Now, let's see the third question. How much money will you pay for the third cup? You can see here, I will pay 10 rupees for the third cup. Now, in place of ice cream, you can see three bottles of soft drink. So, what can be in the question? Yes. How many bottles are there in the picture? How many bottles are there in the picture? Earlier, while giving an answer of this question, we said there are three cups of ice cream in the picture. Here, in place of ice cream, there are three bottles. So, what can be the answer? Yes. 
there are three bottles in the picture we will frame a question it's about first bottle blank is there in the first bottle so our question will be how much soft drink is there in the first bottle you can see that the first bottle is smaller than second bottle so how much soft drink is there in the first bottle here you can see the quantity of soft drink in the first bottle so what is the answer there is 200 ml soft drink in the first bottle very good now blank will you pay for the second bottle here we have to take care that the question is about payment and when the matter is about payment we always ask question with how much in earlier example we saw the same question how much money will you pay for the third cup here the question will be how much money how much money will you pay for the second bottle so let's see the second bottle here you can see the symbol of amount what is it yes it's 40 rupees so what can be the answer i will pay 40 rupees for the second bottle let's see the third picture in this picture you can see that there are some books on the shelf now if we want to ask a question about its number we want to know about the number of books in the picture how to ask a question yes it's how many so the question will be how many books are there on the shelf so what can be the answer yes let's begin with there are there are five books on the shelf here is our next question blank do they cost once again mind well cost means its price cost means its amount so what is the price of these books so here 
the question will be how much money do they cost as the price of the books are not written here we have to tell them approximately apne ani andajit kimmat ahiya lakhvi pade so how much money do they cost they cost around 900 rupees are you writing or not teachers are requested to see whether their students are writing or not now let's see the last picture there are so many apples in the basket so our first question will begin with how many or how much correct as the picture is about apples we will begin the question with how many how many apples are there in the basket let's count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so how many apples are there there are 10 apples in the basket very good now let's see the second one and the last question once again when we want to ask about the price of something we always ask by using how much money so let's see what can be done yes it's a how much money now the question is how much money do they cost see the answer over here they cost around 900 rupees here in the same way we have to write approximate amount so the answer will be they cost around 150 rupees just please note down all the answers in your textbook i hope you have understood how to use how many how to use how much and how to give answer with the help of there is and there are so avi ch kai pravti sathe have apne next period ma malishu goodbye Gujarat